Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about one of Toronto's most sought after neighbourhoods to live in, Yorkville. Watch this video to find out why. Hi, I'm Vivian Sharon, Realtor and Relocation Specialist at Sotheby's International Realty Canada. In this video, I'm going to do a deep dive into Toronto's Yorkville neighbourhood. And by the end of this video, you'll have all the information you need about this most sought after neighbourhood. And maybe you'll even want to move here. So if this is the first time you're visiting my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you want to learn all about living and moving to Toronto, Toronto's vibrant neighborhoods, upsizing or downsizing tips, or relocating to anywhere in the world, don't just look for a place, discover a home. So let's continue. So where exactly is Yorkville? Yorkville is bordered by Bloor Street to the south, Avenue Road to the west, Davenport to the north, and Young Street on the east. But right now I'm at the cornerstone of Yorkville, which is the corner of Bel Air and Cumberland, right here where it all meets and it all happens. Today, Yorkville is known for its elegant shopping and its fine dining. But back in the 1960s, it was Toronto's Bohemian cultural center. And Yorkville was the hub of Canada's hippie movement where artists and authors like Neil Young, Gordon Lightfoot, Margaret Atwood, Joni Mitchell and others hung out. So you would never stop to think that Yorkville was like this when today it's all luxury shops, condominiums everywhere, upscale restaurants. So who are the people that live in this sought after neighborhood? In Yorkville, you'll find an abundance of affluent young professionals and maybe even the odd celebrity or two. Yorkville is also home to growing families working to get a foothold in the area, along with boomers and downsizers who are moving to the city's core because of its vibe and its walkability. You can't talk about Yorkville without mentioning its world-class shopping and glamorous Yorkville is home to the Mink Mile and a strip of Bloor Street West dotted with prestigious designer boutiques like Chanel. Dolce Gabbana, Gucci Prada, Louis Vuitton, including famous Cumberland and Yorkville Avenues. Yorkville Village Shopping Mall is located at 55 Avenue Road and features many exclusive shops and a food court for the stylish and sophisticated. In fact, I did a series of videos in Yorkville. You can go to my YouTube channel and see my videos on Yorkville Village. Lisa Goslin Jewelry, Over the Rainbow, and William Ashley China, to name a few. Yorkville restaurants are known for their outstanding food, incredible cocktails, and some of the best people watching in town. And one of my favorite spots is the rooftop of Casamoto. Delicious sushi on the tree-lined rooftops is the perfect spot for a mid-afternoon break from shopping. If you're looking for a more casual or affordable stop, Hemingway's has been a staple in Yorkville as far back as I can remember. And in the colder months, there is no better bar to saddle up to than Oxley Public House. They have a wonderful wine list and a great menu for either an afternoon snack or a delicious dinner. And also, like the shopping videos, I recently made, I visited some of the top foodie places in Yorkville. Go to my YouTube channel and check out Coco Espresso Bar, Amal, Sophia, Enigma, and Dessert Lady, among others. If you're walking your dog, or going for your morning run, or craving some one-on-one -on -one time with nature, there are many options for green space in Yorkville. Let me take you to one of my favorites. Yorkville Park is nestled right in the heart of Yorkville, more like a parquette with the famous Muskoka Rock as its focal point. And this area provides shade during the summer with freestanding waterfall 
and tables and benches for people to sit and enjoy a meal or simply to take in the scene while sipping on coffee or a glass of wine. If this is not a cup of tea for you, there are also a few nearby parks such as the Bud Sugarman Park, Ramsden Park to the north, Norman Jewison Park, as well as a park here where we're just walking through within Yorkville itself. Getting around the city from Yorkville is easy. This area is served by the Cumberland and Bay Street subway stations. If you prefer to take the bus, the Bay Avenue buses make frequent stops during the city's rush hour. Just a few blocks away from here, the Bloor Young, Young subway line serves as a hub for getting around Toronto and the greater metro area, both north and south, east and west along Bloor Street. As a realtor living and working in Yorkville for many years, I've learned a lot about the culture, the people and the real estate. Yorkville is home to stunning Victorian homes all around and they've been designated, many of them, as historic properties. And if you're looking for ornate period features, solid construction, beautifully landscaped properties, this might be the right neighborhood for you. Yorkville appeals to many demographics, whether you are a first-time condo buyer or a young growing family or an empty nester looking to downsize. This is a very desirable and sophisticated and posh place to live. By the way, if you are a boomer and you're looking to downsize, go to viviansharon.com book and you can download a free copy of my Boomer's Seven Step Guide to Downsizing. Yorkville's cosmopolitan pocket features a mix of real estate choices. It's known for its dazzling state-of-the-art condominium buildings with top amenities from glass towers with modern, innovative designs to established, elegant, New York-style boutique condos. These buildings blend and contrast with the area's historic Victorian homes here and townhomes. You may wonder what are the average home prices in this sought-after Yorkville neighborhood. So according to different market statistics, homes and condos sold in Yorkville vary with prices ranging from micro condos from $550,000 to properties $12 million and over. The average listing price in Yorkville for all homes is in the $1.5 million range and rising. The convenience and luxury living that Yorkville has to offer comes with a heavy price tag and is something to weigh accordingly. And if, however, you are not able to buy, there are many rental opportunities for you. If you're interested in finding out more about the homes and condos in this vibrant neighborhood, please feel free to reach out to me. My contact details are in the description below. If you have a young family and are looking for the best education, you may be surprised to know that Yorkville offers some of the best schools. There is the Jesse Ketchum Public School right here, Cornerstone Academic College, a private language school, the McDonald International Academy, and not to mention the University of Toronto is just a few blocks south of here. So now let's look at some pros and cons. Before you start thinking about moving to Yorkville, know that this neighborhood definitely has a few cons. Number one, there is a lot of construction and new development going on, which means there's noise in the area. Number two, due to the area vibe, there are many attractions, parades, street fairs, marathons, car shows, and road closures, which, which really is unavoidable and it's temporary. Number three, due to the density, there's heavy foot traffic and people around all the time. And now for the pros. Number one, for those of you thinking of buying here or living here, you should know that your real estate investment will keep on growing and appreciating. Number two, because of the affluent demographic here, the fashion, the food, the entertainment are of the highest quality, both local and imported. 
Number three, Yorkville attracts famous celebrities from all over the world, such as Drake, Adam Sandler, Jennifer Lopez, Kate Hudson, and many other A-listers for film shoots that go on here in Toronto and for the film festival. So if you're looking for a change of neighborhood and you think Yorkville may be for you, or if you want to learn more about other neighborhoods, check out my video series on YouTube about Toronto's top cultural neighborhoods. Toronto is definitely a great city to live in and regardless of where you are from or what is your profession or your lifestyle choice, this city has enough to offer for anyone to call it home. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell to get notified next time I post a new video. So you can also connect with me on my social media. The links are in the description below. So don't just look for a place. Discover a home. Bye for now.